I would like to introduce now our student speaker, Tyler Solberg. He's graduating with a degree in physics and astronomy and a degree in film and media arts. So this is his second graduation today. Tyler was introduced to Sigma and inducted to Sigma Phi Sigma, the National Physics Honor Society. He is finishing research with Professor Jordan Burton on a super resolution microscope capable of imaging down to about 20 nanometers. However, he's also applying to prestigious film schools to pursue a graduate degree in media arts. He's filmed documentaries in Peru, Honduras, and the Philippines, and has traveled widely through Europe and Asia. Please welcome the pilot. Welcome, distinguished guests, parents, families, and fellow graduates. I'm honored to be able to address you today at this monumental occasion. Each of us has had different experiences here at the university. I know I've had quite one myself. As a dual major in film and media arts and physics, I feel many questions regarding my intent. I suppose it all goes back to when I studied European history in high school. I remember being enamored by polymaths more commonly known as Renaissance men, or women, of course. These were people whose expertise spanned multiple subject areas, the most famous, perhaps, being Leonardo da Vinci. They were very learned, they were bright, inquisitive, and never content with being trapped by dogma. Think, Galileo wrote the old belief that everything revolved around the Earth. Da Vinci designed the helicopter centuries before one was ever built. And Newton had the audacity to believe that he could actually predict and model motion. Of everything that these people had in common, one thing has always stood out to me, creativity. As graduates of the College of Science, we are well on our way to becoming master mathematicians, chemists, biologists, astronomers, and physicists. In some ways, we have surpassed the knowledge of these great men and women. But what made them great, and what will make us great, is to discover how to be creative. The most dramatic new discoveries are not made by resting on stagnant knowledge. Instead, we must think outside of the box. We must open our minds to thinking about things in new ways. Did Einstein echo previous beliefs about the motion of relativity? No. Richard Feynman noticed, we are trying to prove ourselves, ourselves wrong as quickly as possible, because only in that way can we find progress. Creativity and science should not be mutually exclusive. Instead, one begets the other, which in turn begets the other. Max Planck held that creative scientists must have a vivid imagination, for new ideas are not, are not generated by deduction, but by an artistically creative imagination. Likewise, Albert Einstein reported to these elementary laws that it leads no logical path, but only intuition. So how do we find creativity within ourselves? I've noticed that creative people tend to have certain traits. The most creative people are playful and jolly. Perhaps this is due to their love for what they do. But I suspect that their cheerful disposition has also led them to do exactly that which they love. So be playful. Creative people challenge assumptions. They find new problems and are hungry for risks. And as any finance person will tell you, the higher the risk, the higher the reward. So be courageous. Take risks. Creators are usually diligent, and as my father will attest, stubborn. They refuse to listen to people who tell them it can't be done. Instead, they are driven to succeed. So be driven. The most creative people are tolerant of ambiguity. This helps them to develop mental mobility, which allows creative people to find new perspectives on problems. Creative people think in terms of opposites and contraries while seeking synthesis of new ideas. In genius, there is a tolerance for ambiguity, a patience with unpredictable avenues of thought. Tolerate ambiguity. Finally, learn to view the big picture and learn to view the small picture, and know when one point of view is more important than the other. Einstein said, any intelligent fool can make things bigger and more complex. It takes a touch of genius and a lot of courage to move in the opposite direction. Creators are not limited by one point of view, so don't limit yours. Ultimately, I'm a dual major because I love what I study. For me, it's the perfect balance. 
learning how to be creative while at the same time exploring how the world works, which in turn helps me to be creative. We all must love what we do. The critics will say that you will have to concede part of that love, that your work will ultimately depend on what others want you to do. Don't listen. The only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work, and the only way to do great work is to truly love what you do. Don't settle. Life is precious. Steve Jobs, a modern day Renaissance man, reminds us to not waste it by living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma. Have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. As we graduate today, we have our lives in front of us. Let us go forward, challenging the beliefs once held as truths before us. Let us represent our families, our friends, and our university in the best way possible by having an open mind and following our heart and intuition. It's my hope that I will read about your discoveries, your theories, and the technologies you will have worked on in the years to come. Remember, be playful, take risks, be creative. Congratulations, graduates, and good luck.